All right. We are live. Uh, I have John, uh, Jesus, Henry Johnson. I was so worried about saying that twice. John Henry Johnson. Got a few Johns in there. Um, here with us tonight. Great material, but I didn't really get the full gist of it until, you know, here doing um, sound check and everything. And he's been playing all these classics. And I'm like, I know that. It's like, name that tune. And he's like, yep, yep. I missed one of them. But anyway. Um, so for those of them that don't know, what is the style that they're going to be hearing tonight? Um, it's finger style, or more specifically, like percussive finger style. And it's just playing guitar with all your fingers and hitting the guitar as well as a drum. And I, so like, let's say someone plays regular guitar or electric yeah. guitar. How much of a stretch is it to learn that style? Uh, it definitely helps. I started on electric guitar, oh. and you get the left hand stuff for sure, but the right hand is a whole other project, so you're about halfway there. <laughs> ah, okay. So it's harder to do. Uh, it's, it's a little harder to learn, I think, but I mean, as you go up higher in skill, they're, they're pretty equal at yeah. the top end. Nice. But you can shred. Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, we've heard them. Okay, um, so let's just get uh, people that don't know you. Let's kind of, you know, go back a little bit. Uh, I like to ask people where they were born, kind of where they grew up. Let's figure out who you are. Yeah, yeah. I, I was born in Odessa, Texas, over in West Texas. No trees, nothing. Uh, moved to Brownwood, Texas. They've added a few trees lately, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Otherwise, I, you do get cooked. My, my parents make fun of me when we moved to Central Texas. And I saw my first tree, and I was like, a tree, a tree. I've only seen those in movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it felt. Uh, and then I grew up in that small town in Brownwood. Uh, it's where Howard Payne College is, if, mm. if you're not familiar. Um, and then from there, I went to college at Mary Hardin Baylor for a while. Um, studied accounting and music. Moved to San Angelo briefly for my wife's work. They are both kind of mathematical. Um, Accounting's real, like, yeah, some absolute. You know? Yeah, some people used to tell me that, like, oh, you're doing accounting and you're a guitar player. Those don't match. But, yeah, there yeah. is a mathematical element to it for sure. Um, following rules. That's right. like a, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I moved back here to Austin, and I've been a professional musician so for the last year switch? or two. So how did you switch? Like from accounting just, to? I mean, I, I don't blame you. I can't <laughs> do. My ex-wife's an accountant. Like, she loves that. I can't do math or yeah. accounting. That would just be the worst thing ever. How, why and how did you make that switch? Um, I was three years in in my accounting degree, and I needed an elective, and I took a guitar class, because at that time I was kind of shredding on electric guitar, I thought I was amazing, um, and I was like, <laughs> guitar class, I'll go there, uh, and then it's this guy who has a doctorate in music composition, and he's a master guitar player, classical guitar player, yeah. which is very different yeah. from electric, and I was blown away at yeah. how awful I was when I thought yeah. I was good. Um, and I fell in love with the music, and from there I switched to a music degree. Did that for a few years, and then I realized I didn't really need a degree to perform. Music, yeah. So I just moved on to being a performer shortly So you're after. like, okay, let's do accounting where I can make a lot of money, or I can be a musician <laughs> yeah. and not make a lot of money. Yeah, it, it's, it's surprising. Uh, here it's in Austin. passion. Yeah, for sure. And here in Austin, I'm actually making more as a musician than I was working at the lower level accounting jobs. Oh, wow, so that's Awesome. It's, I love hearing that. Yeah. You know, there's a lot, you know, the whole joke with starving artists. You know, I don't know how real it is. I'm not a uh, starving artist. It's very competitive, but there are places to play and they do yeah. pay. And you have things like ham, which help with like medical oh, and stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's really amazing. So, um, when you, before you went to college, were you, you were playing just regular guitar? I'm just trying to figure out when you started playing guitar. Uh, I started like in high school. When I was okay. about 14, I was into the game Guitar Hero. Have you seen that? <laughs> And it was my first exposure. Why not just play the guitar instead yeah, of the game. Yeah. That's, I, it was my first exposure to rock music. Oh, Before okay. that, I only listened to like Christian music and rap music, and oh. I heard the Scorpions like the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I was oh, just. Oh, Scorpions. Are, wow. Yeah. It's so amazing. Big city nights. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So I grabbed a, a really cheap guitar, and from there I was just obsessed. Yeah. Eight to 12 hours a day trying to learn it. Uh, Dang. And yeah, it's been going since then. <laughs> All right. So, how were your parents when you said, hey, I'm going to switch? They they weren't really supportive. Honestly, yeah. a little too supportive. <laughs> I'm kind of big headed because yeah. they were always so supportive with everything I did. But yeah, I'm I'm real lucky. That's they good. yeah they always endorsed it. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so uh, brought you up to college. Uh, I guess probably not going not too much going on in Odessa. When did you move to <laughs> when did you move to Austin? When did you start performing? Uh, I always performed like a little bit on the side. Yeah. Uh, when I was learning classical guitar, I did like classical guitar gigs at weddings oh. and uh, schools and things yeah. like that. Um, but I've gone, f I started full time performing a, a little over, about a year and a half ago. Mm. Yeah. I, I just felt like I had some savings and I was 
just like, you know what, I'm going to do this full time, see how it works. And it's, it's been going real well. Yeah. Nice. I love that. Um, when, you, when would you say you got like serious about it? Like, um, I'm going to do this and it's going to be my job. Uh, pro probably as I was doing the classical guitar stuff at yeah. Mary Hardin Baylor and, and it felt like I was really, this is what I want to yeah. do, whether it's bad money, good money, doesn't matter. This right. is fun and people want to hear it. So I've always believed that, you know, if you do something you love for free, you will eventually <laughs> succeed because you're not doing it for the money. Yeah. You will get up every morning and do whatever it is your passion is regardless of whether there's a paycheck. So you, you know, some people just do stuff for a paycheck, but there's yeah. no, you know, no excitement in it. I have compromised a little bit. Really the classical guitar and the electric guitar are kind of what I really love doing. Yeah. And this is sort of my attempt to fuse those into one super thing. Yeah, so is this set up a little bit different than like a regular acoustic? Yeah, it's a steel string guitar. Um, it's it's set up exactly like a normal steel string guitar, but mm -hmm. I have more electronics in here. Okay, uh, for the popping and... Yeah, your yeah. typical guitar thing would only pick up the strings, but I have a microphone in here and some other pickups so that you get the, yeah. the edges going. Nice. Um, you know, you moved to Austin to start doing uh, music and everything. How was COVID? Like, you know, you're trucking <laughs> along and then like and have we yeah. recovered like are you playing more like what's the and by the way let's put out his um facebook page Thank or email or whatever or, uh, all website. that social media yeah, stuff socials yeah um so it, it's interesting because like i said i started full-time a year and a half ago so that was after the pandemic started oh. uh, i got married right before the pandemic hit the january of that year mm -hmm. um and then we moved to austin and then the pandemic hit so ah. <laughs> my only experience of austin has been in the pandemic post yeah, yeah uh, but it's been great. I, I, as I started, things started opening up more, yeah. and there are lots of venues. There are yeah. venues to play at, and they pay, and it's great. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a regular spot at this point or uh, a place you play a lot at? The place I probably play the most at the moment is Rebel Cheese. I, I usually what play there. It? Rebel Cheese. Red Bull Cheese? Rebel. Oh, Rebel Cheese. Okay. It's a vegan cheese place in North Austin. Super. <laughs> Rebel Cheese. That's yeah, awesome. they're the Rebels. It's okay, I love super cheese. Good. Yeah, they have the best vegan but it's cheese. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese usually s it's awful. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm but, not getting excited vibes here. But, but Rebel is the best huh. that you can find anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'll have to check. Oh no, where are they? Uh, they're like in North Austin on Aldrich Street. Um, okay, around there. I yeah. can't give you much more because yeah. I'm awful yeah. with directions. Um, uh, so you know, back in the day, when you're playing, when when bands were like Scorpions and all yeah. this stuff that you play. They had no social media. I mean, basically, you had to, you know, you didn't know they were had it. You wouldn't even know they would have an album out until you walked into a music store. Oh, yeah. they got a new thing out. Um, do you, so, you know, being as young as you are, uh, do you capitalize on the social media? Like, do you have a big presence? Do you take advantage of that? How do you? I do my best. I'm, d I'm definitely... Uh, I have an older soul <laughs> and, and yeah. I don't like you, especially like TikTok and stuff. It's, yeah. it's hard for me, but yeah. I do get through it. I spend some time every week uploading videos. Yeah. Instagram's probably my biggest one. Yeah. Just a little over a thousand followers, nothing huge, but it's, it's growing and yeah. yeah, it's useful. I get a lot of gig leads from there and I meet other cool musicians and yeah. that's cool. Well, the one thing I like about it is you could do little teaser, like there was no uh, way to do that. You yeah. you could do like one show or one song a week yeah. and play it and tease it and or play a little bit like you know uh, and say oh I got a new album like musicians could never do yeah. that before. It's amazing. I can just set up a tripod and record one of my gigs and then throughout the week I can edit that out, yeah. put out a little clip, send those to venues who yeah. might be interested. Yeah. Because uh, you tell a venue that you're a solo acoustic instrumental guitar, they're just kind of like. But if they see the video of all the right. stuff moving, it definitely gets yeah. the ball rolling. So you're not going to be singing tonight? Uh, I will not be singing. I'll be talking okay. through some of these songs and how they work. Um, and but, what did yeah. you call it in solo? What? Uh, I would most accurately call it percussive acoustic fingerstyle guitar. <laughs> okay. right. Well, whatever it is, it's cool. Um, and so the progression over the last few months of COVID, it's getting back to normal. You're people are going out to bars now yeah uh, the summer heat has been rough definitely because most of the gigs are outdoors oh, yeah. uh, I play at places like Mozart's coffee I don't know if you've been yep. there outside oh, yeah. yep. uh, idle hands a parlor and yard places like that mm -hmm. and they're all outside and they Ooh. get real yeah, hot um, and it's right there on the water uh, yeah. Mozart's so you get that moisture coming oh out. yeah it's it's tough uh, but like I'm looking I'm looking forward to that being over <laughs> yeah like can I can I get an indoor gig here somewhere yeah. <laughs> um, that's awesome so also speaking of you know like with te technology and, and being able to tease back in the day you had to spend thousands of dollars if you wanted to record a song 
you need a laptop, a microphone, guitar, yeah. mix, edit, pro, you know, everything. For sure. And, and I was able to release my last album completely self-produced in my house. I have just like a little $200 DI box, my guitar mm. set up plug it into the computer, yeah. record, send that to a producer for yeah. a, f a couple hundred bucks, and yeah. then that's it. You have an album. <laughs> to master it. Yeah. By the way, so what is so what is your last album? Uh, it's called The Quest for Creation. It's all music on this guitar, as opposed to like classical guitar and mm. electric guitar like mm. I do. Um, it's mostly instrumental. There is one track on there that's singing. It's called Snowing in Texas. It, it was a joke about the blizzard we had a while oh back. God. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's I a would parody. love that now. Yeah. It's a parody of Texas Flood. Um, but outside of that, they're just instrumental. Some of them are interpretive songs where I'm sort of trying to show you an idea on the uh, guitar. Yeah. And some of them are just sort of pretty experience. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, you guys are in for a treat. Uh, he's going to impress us. And uh, I'm going to get out of the way. We'll come back in about 15 minutes. Take it away.